is a little squirrely. Let's get our lights back on. Oof, that plant is shooting at me. Hello everyone, Thranks is here and welcome back to Subnautica, episode 53, where we've begun the construction of the experimental rocket Neptune, really we just have the launch platform and the gantry. The boosters though are going to require some nickel, plasteel ingot, two aerogel, and a wiring kit. And we can't know what the next section is going to require for materials until we construct it, so I am making the command decision that we in fact need to go and retrieve the Nautilus. Shouldn't be too difficult. We can use the portals to get back in a hurry. Welcome aboard, Captain. Why is the water so opaque and not more clear? All right, I think this unknown portal is, in fact, the closest. Ah, uh, the mushroom coral portal is equidistant. I don't know what's going to be in this direction. Normally that would cause me to go the other way. And the sun's going down. That's a little creepy. Let's make sure we have our grappling arm. Very good. And for storage, we're actually pretty full. We might need more kyanite in the construction. Oh, see, I don't know what we're going to need is the problem. Okay, well, let me hold as many of these minerals and items as I can here. Actually, I can just hold all of that. I'm going to make this journey at night. Really? Okay. Why not? We're going to get a little bit of lead first. I don't think we have a lot of that. We have the scanner rooms on our way out. We can load up on the resources we're low on. We'll take inventory. But I think more than anything, we're going to need to make sure we have lots of titanium. So I would imagine the plasteel ingots will be numerous. See, this is... Mm. Not something I'm sure if I want to do. Oh my goodness. I don't hear anything dangerous. course we're gonna jump down here now I know I do know those crazy squids can be in this area and I know if I take out I think it's this power cell then our lights go out no was it the other one hold on It looks like the lights are... Hold on, let's try this one. I need to be able to point the lights. Um, no, okay, so our lights are still on. I found this out by accident. I couldn't even figure why one of my lights went out, or why my lights went out, but I believe if you take out the... Yeah, if you take out the left power cell, the always-on lights go out. And sense those those dangerous crab squid items those enemies they they are attracted to light 
We're just gonna cut our lights off. I don't know how dangerous this passage is going to be. But this could be our last chance to, to discover where this portal actually resides. Looks like it gets shallower here. For some reason, I thought it would just be deeper and deeper still. Let's go ahead and we'll get the free titanium here. Anything else of interest? Nope. Okay. And look at that. The sun's coming back up. I like it. Are those stalkers? No, those are bone sharks. Interesting. Oh, and that's the wreck. We've been to that wreck, actually. Okay. All right. I have... I'm... I sort of know where I am. This is definitely a direction we haven't been. That looks like a... No, it's more bone sharks. We're just going to leave them be. We have the answer that we can give them if they come over to us asking us questions, and that is a big drill. Now, of course, without the lights... Mm -hmm. Well, you can go somewhere else, if you want. Yeah, this biome is a little squirrely. Let's get our lights back on. Oof, that plant is shooting at me. I don't like that. Okay, so the portal is here. We have a beacon. We don't have to worry. We can just follow this dark, craggy, rocky danger around every corner, potentially. Oh, well, no. There's a reef back. I generally have yet to see those in the same area as some of the larger predators, so... Could be okay here. There's definitely a lot of little ravines and pitfalls. I don't know if we're going to need any of this quartz. Ugh, it's such rough terrain to try to navigate with this prawn suit. It's all these little rocks and stuff, yeah. What is that? Oh, silver. I'm pretty sure we need some silver. If the silver is even able to be broken up, what's going on? Oh, there we go. What is this up here? Oh, scanner room fragment. Whoa, a life pod. Life pod 7. This is one of the ones that had corrupted coordinates. Hold on, we've got to investigate now. That sounded like a scary sound, but that could have been a bone shark. They have sort of scary sound. No, that's a scarier sound. Um, hold up. Mm. Right? This is how it's going to be. No, that other noise was something else. All right. We have to, we have to investigate the life pod, though. Oh, a toy car. Ugh. And an unusual doll. Okay. Life pod seven crew log. Gray cap. Cylindrical sample flask. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. 
We're going to put some of the ore back in the prawn suit so we can grab these goodies here. Like the gold, the silver. Okay, that's plenty. Ooh, look out for those bone sharks. Please let me in. Thank you. Give me the cap. Give me the car. Give me the sample flask. How much space did that leave us with? Not much. Okay. I don't hear the really scary noise, and the lights are coming out, so that's good. Uh, data downloads, Aurora Survivors, Life Pod, 7 crew log. I've tried everything. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. You can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here, have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. Going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here, it's got to make something useful eventually. Eventually. That's the idea, right? Okay. Now we're sort of going into the deeper and darker part of this area, but it looks like our portal is right here, so... Actually... Ooh, ooh, easy. That startled me. I'm actually rather glad we did this, because we got to find Life Pod 7. Realized, unfortunately... They had a fried fabricator. And judging by the blown out side of the life pod, I'm guessing they ended up making something explosive without meaning to. Oh, this is terrifying. It's just down. If I didn't know the portal was here, I would likely not come out this way. Alright. Perfect. Excellent. And then just like that, we can get all the way back down to the Nautilus and begin our ascent back up. Nope. No, no, no. I guess I could have just left you alone. I don't think... Oh, no, we're going to have to... Oh, we're going to have to go through a couple treacherous areas, actually, to come back up. Yeah, for some reason I'd gotten so comfortable with the trek there and back through these portals, I'd forgotten how challenging it can be. But we have so many resources on the Nautilus, it seems goofy not to try and bring it up with all that it has on it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, let's do this. Getting back to the Nautilus should actually be relatively easy. It's actually going to be getting out of the lava area that's going to be a little painful. Although with the excess power and the ion power cells, we might be able to just keep the shields up and drive through the da more dangerous parts. We'll have to see. And... yes, thank you. Don't think we need any more ion cubes. I mean... Oh, who am I kidding? You always want more ion cubes. Always. They're free. It's unlimited. Thank you. I'd like free refills with my ion cubes, please. Every time. I love it. Yep, I was ready for it that time. Okay, so here we are back at the Nautilus back in a vastly more treacherous area than we came from. Let's try to get on board quickly and without incident. OK. 
Okay. We don't see it. We're just going to go and get on board. There we are. Wonderful. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. <sighs> there is a thing about the Nautilus that I really like. As fun as it was to make our base, and we did make our base pretty well, I do feel like there's something about the Nautilus that that is just special. You're really not going to let me put this stuff anywhere? Come on. Not a car. Not, I can't just have a car kicking around the deck of my Nautilus. <laughs> a little toy car. Can you imagine trying to run in an emergency where you're like, oh, crap, and you slip, and yeah, okay. So we'll end up putting this stuff... Well, we did get some of those cluster seeds. We'll end up putting this... Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. If I take one gold, I'll give you the car. Take a salt and give you the hat. There we go. Uh, we'll take it back to our base. We'll... we'll but we'll see. Because cause we're almost done. Almost done with the storyline. But I do have some ideas for this. Alright, we'll put an ion power cell in that one. Ion power cell there. Mm hmm. I almost wish you could recycle old power cells. Is there not? Oh, the prawn suit has two ion power cells in it. Or one, anyways. That's fine, that's acceptable. And we have creature eggs. Yes. Yes, we must go back. That is the realization. So, okay. Let's go ahead and empty out our inventory then. Look at all these power cells. I wish you could turn these into ion power cells. Goodness. Well, if we need power cells for construction, we have plenty now. These little bits and bobs I'm going to go ahead and put in here... I'm worried if we get anything that requires kyanite in any capacity, and that's just a heat resilient material, and we're launching a rocket, we could very easily get a requirement that says, oh, you need to make some kyanite, or you need to have some kyanite for this section of the rocket. We're going to be hosed, and I do not want to have to come back down here. So the three things I want to make sure that we get on our way out are kyanite, crystalline sulfur, and nickel. If we get those on our way out, we won't have to come back for anything. So that's the plan. That's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get ourselves fed with some melons. Yum, yum, yum. Good old marble melons. I don't know how the... I don't know how the survivors, the Degasi crew... Weren't able to sustain themselves off planters of marble melons. Alright. We are officially ready to depart, I believe. Let's go ahead and let's take a look around with the camera. I do not see the person we're trying to look out for. Anywhere here. But there is kyanite right there. Ugh. Hmm. There's easy kyanite right here next to us. We have storage space. The warper's not going to mess with me. Let's just go slow and take it easy. Oh, man. Just gonna go slow, take it easy. We just want to have some kyanite in case the rocket needs it, that's all. Okay, we didn't get one there. 
Didn't get one. Mm, we're not getting any. Oh, there's two. Two more. Okay, all right. My heart might be pounding a little bit. It's nice not having to worry about those warpers, though. I just want to see if there's some kyanite over here, maybe, that isn't all up against the lava. What I don't want to stumble into is a little secret hidey hole here for the, uh, the sea monster. Just need, like, one more node of kyanite would make me feel so secure about leaving this area. Never coming back. I promise. Hmm. Ah, uh, there's some kyanite. Yep, let's do it. That might be a problem. Maybe it'll just keep eating the little fish and it'll leave us alone. You watch, we won't need any kyanite. We probably won't need any, but I don't want to take that chance. Because this way we can totally leave the volcanic area. We don't have to stop at our little base. We built with a scanner room. We don't have to... Yeah, we can just leave this area. I'm not sure where, where our big monster is. Or, or even if they're going to render and spawn back as I go near the Nautilus. But we're going to have to make do. Came out this way. We sort of made our choice. Let's see if we can just get one more... Ah, I don't want to go back and not have enough. No room for storage. Okay. I know. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, we're back in. It's okay. I think there was one laying on the ground that we left. I'm starting to get really nervous though. All the sounds are starting to creep me out. Okay. Alright. We're out of here. What was... What was that sound? Oh no. No, no. You see, that's what I'm worried about. Just let me go back to my Nautilus, please. I promise I'll never... I'll never come back down here into the open lava area. I mean, I may take the portals to the building, but that... But I will not have a reason to come back down here again, I promise. Just just please let me get out and everything be okay. Ooh. Straight up missed it. Impacted the hull. Be careful. We're gonna have ship damage we have to repair. Alright, we're not even gonna mess with the inventory. Let's just take this time that we have without the, the fire-breathing sea monster here to get out of here.
All right, we don't want to dip the Nautilus into a stream of lava anywhere. That would not be good. All right, and we want to exit to the left because I think that's the cleanest way back out. Let's make sure. Um, where might you be? Okay, all right, all right, I'm getting nervous. Let's slow down for a second. There it is. Keep on going. Just keep on going. Okay. That's good. I can work with that. Just leave me be. Mind the lava. Okay, we don't need silent silent running anymore. We don't need that. We just need to expertly maneuver ourselves through here. Ooh! Right beneath us. Whoa. Let's just get out of here. Let's just... Let's just actually depart rapidly. I don't want any part of this. But we know there's another one in this room that hangs over by the giant spire where the thermal plant is. So let's be mindful of that. There it is. There it is. In the murky distance, but we can see it. Rig for silent running. We're going to go ahead and go to silent running. Yep, and we're going to transition on this way. And leave you to it over there. Okay, I think we're I think we're in the clear now. As long as we don't bounce the screw of the Nautilus off one of these rock formations. Although to be fair, even if that happens, I think we'll be okay. Oh, it's sort of following us. All right, let's cut left because I'm starting to not recognize this. I feel like our passage should be here on the left. Let me ascend here. This is what I recognize here. Hmm. All that over a little fish. Oh my goodness. That noise is just slightly terrifying. Let's let's exit this place, please. There's really not a reason to be silent running or slow at this point. Ah. And now we can safely travel to the next section where we can get all the nickel and crystalline sulfur that we need. Probably even stock up on some titanium make a bunch of titanium ingots. That way we can be sure we have the stuff for plasteel ingots. Boy, this thing is just terrible to the local ecosystem. We're just crushing all these fish. Are we going to be able to go through here? That looks a little sketchy. So we try it anyways. Oh no, we're fine. Look at that. 
No problem. Are we clear? And we're clear. Piece of cake. Well, when you know where you're going and you have a mental image in your mind of what you can expect the terrain to do, traveling with this actually isn't so bad. Yep, when we go back through here, we'll go back past the awesome tree, and then we'll stop at our base. Sort of in the center of the brine and fossil area, and then we'll make sure we get some titanium, some lithium, uh, only because I, I want to make sure we have enough. And there's so many resources down here. We'll make sure we're just full to the brim with as many of every kind of resources we could possibly want, and then we'll bring them up. Hopefully we'll be able to assemble everything all at once. Tempted to come through here just for these eggs. Just to get some of these ray eggs. Look at this, we're still at 100% power. This is great. I don't know how we're still at 100% power, because we've been out of areas where the temperature has been warm enough to power the power cells for a while, I feel. Okay, well, we don't want to disrupt their, their like, little <laughs> social pod order here. We don't want to just drive the Nautilus right through the local ecosystem. We can be a little more responsible than that. How can we properly study this environment? We're destroying it. So, oop, as I run into a ray, I say that. So I had some thoughts about this game because it is a shame for the game to be done, and we are we're rapidly coming up on the ending. Um, so I have some thoughts about that, and we'll discuss them here, kind of as we're closing out the episode. So my thoughts were that we would sort of have two alternate storylines. Engine powering down. That for this first storyline, this first alternate ending, we're going to leave. We're, we're anxious to get off this planet and to get back to society, and so we're going to try to leave as fast as possible. However, that alternate storyline is what if we stayed? What if we stayed here to conduct the research that this planet so desperately needs to be conducted on it? And so, for, for now, our mindset is not to establish any kind of permanent place on here, but merely to get out with our skin intact. We will, at some point, be discussing alternate ideas for staying and conducting permanent long-term research. Oh, there's just so much storage and all at the same time not enough storage. We have a lot of table coral for computer chips. This is good. We're going to have a lot of everything except the things we need more of. Um, but that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. This has been Subnautica episode 53. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching because as always, I've had a good time playing. So be sure and come back next time as we gather the resources and hopefully leave this planet. But until then, take care.